Now, having said this, I would like to point out to you how exactly the drug discovery and development process proceeds from the beginning, that is from a concept that, you know, that occurs in the minds of the scientists to a tangible drug product that is useful to treat patients in the clinic. So that is how we normally talk about the new drug discovery and development process completely as from concept to clinic. From concept to clinic, the process is divided in broadly into these categories. One is a lead generation. Lead generation refers to identifying a molecule with activity that can be developed into a drug. Then you produce the generated leads are optimized to ensure that the activity that is discovered in the laboratory can actually be developed into a drug. So a molecule that is discovered in the lead generation stage need not necessarily be developed into a drug. It may not have all characteristics that are required for a molecule to be developed as a drug. However, during lead optimization, those characteristics would be built into the molecule such that the drug molecule or a candidate drug at this point, we would like to call it, can be developed. And that development process is referred to as preclinical development. And the aim of the preclinical development is to file an IND at the end of preclinical development for that molecule. Let's look at IND. What is IND? Investigational new drug. And this investigational new drug approval by the regulatory authorities would give the drug or the drug company a permission to test that molecule first time in the clinic. And then the clinical development starts. And clinical development is testing the molecule in the clinic under various circumstances in patients that are supposed to be the target for this drug treatment and successful clinical development would lead to regulatory approval and the drug would be introduced into the market. All these processes, although they appear to be simple, they take a long time because there are other complicated issues that come in, that is during lead generation, activity and determining patentability of the molecule, and then optimization of the molecule to ensure that it has all characteristics that is required for a drug to be administered into the human being or administered to the human being for producing effects. So here you ensure drug likeness. And during the preclinical development, you are ensuring that the molecule is developable. What exactly developable means is something that I'm going to discuss when we really come to that point of preclinical development. And after regulatory approval, you test it in the clinic. So in other words, all these three are not, you know, testing in the human, but they are testing in the laboratory, in the cell systems, in the biological systems like laboratory animals and cellular systems. From here onwards, testing in the human starts. And of course, regulatory approval is a process that is in the hands of a regulatory authority. Like in India, it is Drug Control General of India or CDSCO or in the US, it is US FDA.